All right, today I'm gonna to show you something really cool. It's this stuff. It goes by several different names. Uh, polymorph plastic, instamorph plastic, thermoplastic, friendly plastic. Uh, regardless of the name, it's all the same stuff. And it's these little plastic beads. And they do something really cool. Let me show you. Take a glass or a small bowl and fill it with a little bit of warm water and we're going to pop it into the microwave and run it for just about 30 seconds or so. You want to get this stuff around 130 degrees which is pretty hot but not so hot that it's going to burn you. Okay, now that we have our hot water ready, I'm just gonna take a small amount of these beads and put them into the water. They'll start sticking together and eventually they'll go from this opaque white color to translucent and that's when you know that they're ready. So we'll just give this a minute or so. All right, so as you can see, they've gone from this opaque white color that they started out as to now being translucent. And I'm gonna fish them out of here. And this is the cool part. You can now take this plastic and form any shape you want. And it just molds like a almost like chewing gum or some sort of putty. But once you have created whatever shape that you need, you just let it dry and cool down for maybe 15, 20 minutes, just depending on how big of the, the piece is that you're working with. And it will form back into opaque, hard white plastic. Why is this so neat to me is because you can literally use this for just about anything. I mean, the, the possibilities are near limitless. And here is what I did with it today. As you can see here, I have a giant hole in this door frame leading into my house. Uh, it's completely rotted away all the way through to where if you're in my basement and look where this doorway is, you can actually see daylight. So I just took a big hunk of the polymorph plastic and heated it up and I'm going to use it to fill the hole. Uh, as it is, if I tried to patch it any other way, there would be a chance that little critters and stuff could still get into the house where they're going to have a lot harder time dealing with this plastic once it dries because it's going to be about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick. So they'll have their work cut out for them if they try to chew through this. Uh, the whole door frame needs to be replaced, but I just really don't have time to mess with it right now. I got too many other things going on, but this needs to be taken care of. So polymorph plastic to the rescue. Uh, I'm using the back of this chisel here just to kind of smooth out the edges a little bit so it's not so lumpy. And after just a little while of drying, it's turning opaque and I decided just to go ahead and paint the door frame to buy me a little bit more time until I can fix it properly. But it just took a few minutes and it got the job done. Okay, well that's it. Uh, just a few tips to help you out a little bit. If you are making something and you want it to uh, harden faster, just pop it in the freezer because that's the way it works. Uh, you get it hot, it gets moldable, it cools off and it's turns into hard plastic again. Don't get the water so hot that it makes this so hot that you can't touch it. It should be really, really warm to the touch, but not so much that it actually burns you. And if you're in the middle of trying to mold something and it's starting to set up on you, just pop it back in the hot water for a few more seconds and it will soften up and you can finish what you were doing. So go out and get you some thermoplastic, friendly plastic, polymorph plastic, instaplastic, it's really cool stuff and you can come up with all sorts of uses for it. I'll definitely be making some more videos in the future about this stuff and different projects and ideas that you can do with it. So if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, do it right, do it well.
Do it yourself. <laughs>